Hi, welcome to day five of Vlogmas. I'm Kay, and it is actually quite late in the afternoon. It's like four. Uh, we were at Lake Greenwood this morning, and then we came back right after lunch. So uh, I decided to just go ahead and record at home. I don't have a ton of time just because we've got some other stuff that we're doing later. And um, so I wanted to get in opening stuff today and to show you a little bit of progress on my projects. Um, I think I mentioned that I was a day late or I had my days mixed up for the dandelion chocolate advent. What's up? So I'm gonna go back and open the fourth today. It is the constellation Cepheus, Cepheus, not sure. The King and the Summer Triangle. So this is the um, information. Just to the left of Cassiopeia, high in the north and a bit difficult to see in the glow of city lights is Cassiopeia's husband, Cepheus the King. Although traditionally interpreted as a king, Cepheus is often represented by a stick figure that looks like a simple house. Because Cepheus is positioned so close to the North Pole of the sky, you might also imagine him as Santa Claus. Cepheus contains the famous Garnet Star, which is located about halfway across the bottom of the stick figure house, and is sometimes called the reddest star in the sky. You'll find that this week is the best time of the month to observe faint objects such as galaxies and star clusters, as there's no moonlight to obscure their subtle shine. So this is the box and yeah, you can kind of see the stick figure house there for the constellation. I'm gonna turn it different ways, I guess, depending on where you are. All right, let's see what this one is. It says, Amarena Cherry Bonbon. Mm. I'll try to get a picture uh, to pop in before Janie gobbles it up. We were able to see on the website the description. Each day they do a reveal on the website and give you a little bit more detail about it. And so we saw yesterday that it was supposed to be Cherry, and she's very excited about this one. So I will let her have that in a little bit, and I will report back to you what she thinks. Okay. My number five. Let's see what's in this one. Mm -hmm. There is some yellow. I don't think I have a tag for that. Not sure. And what do we have to go with it? A passion fruit tea. It's from Vietnam, I think. And a little dove chocolate to go with it. Okay. Spinning. This is the one from yesterday, which I'm going to get started on. Might be tomorrow. I'll try to get some spinning video tomorrow. There we go. Popped it off. Pardon my crinkling. Look at that gorgeous blue. I don't know if that's, that's not too bad. That beautiful, rich blue. Oh my goodness. And it just feels amazing. I don't want to felt it, but that's beautiful. Mm -hmm. Those will be next to each other. I think the way to go is going to be a chain ply that will keep the different colors together. I think that's going to be really fun. Okay, and next from PK Yarn, day five. Who's in here today? Mm. This one is Drosselmeyer. 
and they have enough overlap in the colors that I think these are all going to just flow really nicely one to the other. Okay, I'm on day four. Maybe I can get caught up. So this is my progress so far. One, two, three, and just a few rows of day four. Okay, and this will be, this is the current one, and this will be next. Those are similar. I think this one has a little bit more peachy colors in it. You can see those next to be pretty similar. So I think that'll flow really nicely. I'm enjoying that, although I'll tell you, I have, I, the pattern is not difficult at all, and the yarn is not a problem. I just have trouble counting. Sometimes I have to count as high as 10. You can imagine how difficult that is. All right, this is the Fairbanks shawl, it's the crocheted one, and my hook came out. Come back here. Um, I don't really want to start over. I'm hoping it'll block open a bit. I feel like the fabric it's creating is fairly dense with all the single crochet, but it looks cool. I stayed up late last night kind of getting a better start to this. So this was my green from day one, and then this is my um, main color, or I want to just call it like an alt, your alternate. So in between, my stripes in between. And then I just got started on my avocado toast. That's one that I dyed this one. So I like it. It's not, it's not going quickly, partly because it's very dense, but also because my crochet skills are kind of rusty. So I'm hoping that the more I do, the quicker it'll go. And I found that the more I did last night, uh, the more smoothly it was going. So that was really good. Uh, I have not done any more on my Christmas socks and tomorrow is the sixth. So I'm nowhere near the heel. I'm hopefully going to spend a little more time on that over the next few days. I will need to get that done more or less by, uh, by the 12th in order to have my Christmas socks done. Well, I'm going to let you go on this fifth day of December and I hope that you're having a very good day and that you've had a wonderful, um, second Sunday of Advent, and I will see you again tomorrow.